guys, this is going to be a very quick update on the Nessuit Nectar. So at this point, I have been taking the Nessuit Nectar, aka Honduran Stingless Black Bee Honey for a week. And I've been really amazed by the results and the experience with this. I love it. That's all I can say. First of all, I began using the honey in my eyes. I continue using the honey each night before bed. Yes, it still stings, but it's really something that I look forward to. Maybe not so much looking forward to the sting, of course, but looking forward to that feeling that I get after, which is just refreshed. My eyes feel clean and refreshed and relaxed. And I think it's just, you know, all those antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial, all those anti-properties of the honey, just really cleaning out my eyes, giving them a good flush, you know, that good cry that you get um, with the Nest Suit Nectar. And the process is really quick. It only takes a couple minutes, literally like, I would say five to seven minutes, more like five now, because I'm really used to it. Um, you know, put the honey in, move my eyes around, let the honey really get in there and do what it needs to do and wash my face off and I'm there were some initial improvements that I talked about with my vision just feeling like I had more clarity of my vision and then forcing myself to wear my glasses sometimes because I don't I feel like maybe I'm getting overconfident with the honey but I, I, I did feel a couple times this week while I was working you know putting my glasses on I'm like things kind of look the same to me like it looks the same and I'm like is it a placebo? If it's a placebo, this is the best placebo ever. Let me tell you. In my eyes for about a week now. And um, I know I talked about reaching out to Soionic Botanicals to ask them how long to continue using the honey. So I was preparing to do that and I reached out to their website or, you know, I went to the website to the contact page and it lists an email, it lists a phone number, but there's also two disclaimers there about information that they will and will not give customers. And it makes sense. I believe that that's done for their legal protection, but basically they said they will not give any legal advice and they any recommendations about dosing is for informational purposes only. You know, that's standard kind of typical information that you see um, with any medical provider, even holistic um, practitioners as well. So... I didn't reach out because I was like, okay, I can understand if I ask how many days should I take the honey, they may and they may ask me for specifics or whether I'm vague about it or give specifics about my personal situation, that could be construed as them giving me a diagnosis or giving me medical advice. I'm like, yeah, they're probably, what is disclosed is probably what you're going to get. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going to use my own discretion. But that did lead me to do like a little more research about it around the internet. And I'll get into that later. Um, as far as what I found. Yeah. So when it comes to my eyes, definitely seeing improvements in my vision and just the overall healthy feeling of my eyes. Also my lashes, my lashes just feel like thicker and healthier. Um, a lot of times, you know, even like what I just did touching my lashes, you, you might get like a stray lash falling out, right? Also, there's a habit that I used to do. One of my friends noticed this um, on FaceTime like a couple years ago. And it's like an unconscious thing that I would do, but I would kind of like pull my lashes, um, just pull on them. Once someone pointed it out to me, it made me think about why I'm actually doing that. And it's not like a nervous habit or anything, because I really would, um, once I started paying attention to it, it would be times when my eyes just felt kind of itchy or irritated, or I would feel like an irritated feeling like right along my lash line and pulling my lashes seemed to relieve that. Well, since I've started using the stainless black bee honey i don't pull on my lashes anymore um i definitely like i said i don't think it was like a nervous habit i wasn't like literally you know yanking my lashes out or anything it was really like a massage and i would be very gentle with it because of course even doing that i would get like you know a lash on my finger or something anyway um so i would i think like what i used to consider normal of feeling like an itchiness along my lash line not only is that alleviated but my lashes themselves are now healthier and so I don't lose lashes just, you know, like rubbing my eye or touching my eye. I don't have the lashes just falling out <laughs> randomly, which is great. And I think that, that the honey has a lot to do with that. One of the best experiences that I had with the honey so far, so amazing. But um, I was getting ready for bed one night and I saw that I had, I had just did the routine of like using the honey in my eyes. Um, I saw like a fresh scratch on my leg and I was like, where did that come from? I don't think my cat did it or whatever, but 
you know how that it, it, it had just scabbed over and the length of the scratch was about this long so it was pretty big and um I had just watched the video with Erica Badu he had just give put the honey into her eyes and they're talking about how you can use the honey on like mosquito bites and injuries and things like that for to promote healing and I was like oh this is a perfect opportunity you know I can put some honey on it and I can track the progress like how much how much faster it heals so typically for me something like that from the time that i notice a scratch it usually is like a week or two right you know this the scab it scabs over and then it goes through all of those phases of the scab getting darker then the scab falls out you guys know and then it's like um lighter than the rest of me and then it's darker than the rest of me and then um you know after like a couple months now it's back to my normal skin tone so I had a miracle healing experience of a scratch, right? Where I used honey, woke up in the morning and I was literally searching. I'm like, I was searching for that scratch. Like, where is it? Um, it was completely gone. There was, so my skin was restored. To, I mean, it looks just like the back of my hand right here, right? Smooth, no injury, no sign of any injury. There was a little flaky, like um, transparent or translucent skin, like white, whitish skin at the the end of it it was like the whole thing had completely just dry, dried up and disappeared or something it was like that little flake of skin and i just like poked that off and it was gone and i was like this is a miracle oh my god so guess guess what your girl did i started putting honey everywhere i'm like plastering honey over my face i slept with honey on my face right i'm doing everything um i saw a video where kt he talked about brushing his teeth with the nectar I don't I haven't brushed my teeth with it yet but when I use the honey orally I'll kind of like you know swipe it around on my tongue like around my teeth um just for any benefits for that but yeah I started going crazy so I have like over here I had a breakout and there's a hyperpigmentated spot right there and I was just fully expecting you know for everything to like go away like to overnight <laughs> just have like amazing clear skin and everything so unfortunately it didn't work like that i think it is helping like i think that this um hyperpigmentation like i said it's usually a cycle of like months and months for me even when i'm really aggressive with like you know conscious about using say vitamin e oil or something constantly rubbing that into dark spots and stuff it's still it'll that will reduce the healing time or the hyperpigmentation time but it still takes a while to go for things to go back to normal so, um, I, as you can see, you know, this little spot that I'm talking about, it has not completely gone away. It's been a few days now at this point, but I do think it's shrinking. So in my experience, it seems like though, if the injury is new, like brand new, that's when you get that kind of like miracle benefit with the honey. <laughs> if you start, um, right away versus things that are older. And this is just my theory. I can't prove this or anything, but I think that maybe it's because the honey is on a fresh wound or a fresh injury. The honey's like really just getting in there, sorting things out, getting your healing process going. The honey is able to get in there and do its magic versus something that's older. It's like, hey, I'm helping you out with this, but it's late. You're a little late. Like, we're, it's going to take a while, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. Um... As far as dreams, like I talked about in the second video that the honey really um, was helping with like lucid dreaming and things like that, still getting those kind of benefits, but I feel like that's really personal. So I'm not going to talk about that too much. Hopefully you guys understand. So far, I have not gotten around. So like I said, I started using the honey externally, like all over my body <laughs> at that point when uh, my scar went up, my scab went away or my scratch went away. But I have not um, used it in terms. There was a video I watched where KT speaks about using it, making um, vaginal or yoni suppositories. And I'm probably going to do that like next week. And I will definitely let you guys or ladies know or guys too, because maybe you want to know. Definitely let you guys know how that goes. So um, I, like I was saying about going to the website to find out how long I could put the honey in my eyes or reaching out to find out how long I could put the honey in my eyes. Um, I don't think there's going to be an answer forthcoming from so I don't think tentacles about that just based on what I read into on their website. However, um, there are multiple people selling stainless black bee honey, whether it's Honduran. I actually went into it like not educating myself too much on purpose so that I didn't have just have all the expectations happen for me you know what i mean um 
but as I've gotten into researching it, this thing was Black Bee Honey, I was learning like about their territory and they're kind of um, in Mexico, in Honduras, in I believe maybe Costa Rica, like just in multiple countries, they have stingless black bees. Um, and there's people online selling the honey on different websites. Oh, buddy, I want some loving, I want some attention. Yes, buddy, that's my little boy. Um, so, you know, going on to different sellers' websites and reading the reviews, because um, Katie's page, she doesn't have any reviews, I don't think, available. There's on Soiana Botanicals, I don't think there's any review section or whatever. So, um, just seeing, you know, hundreds of reviews from people really um, for other honeys. And of course, I can't speak to the quality or the authenticity of that honey, but I know that other people are selling it online or other versions of black bee honey right but still seeing like people's reviews and um story what boy are you crazy don't jump you want to jump on me to bite me that's insane i love my fat man <laughs> um so I've at this point I've read now hundreds of reviews from other people and you guys saw in my second video I was really like begging kind of like is anyone out there who's using this honey because I need to know that I'm not the only person or I'm not imagining things and so seeing all those reviews um it really of course helped give me a little confidence in this journey that I'm on um but at the same time, I trusted KT and Soiana Botanicals. I'm glad that I found Soiana Botanicals um, as my source. And I'm thinking I'm going to continue buying from them anyway, um, regardless. Also, you know, I found tons of scholarly articles and research papers about the um, stingless black bee honey, which was kind of surprising to me because you guys know anything dealing with holistic health, a lot of times it's like, the information is really buried about it, or it's even, you know, what you see from the mainstream media, or when you try to Google things, it's like it's almost blocked or whatever, where they don't want anyone to know about it. I gotta get off of here <laughs> and take care of my kitty cat. But um, yeah, it's like the information about the honey is really out there. Now, I can't lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't read, you know, every study from cover to cover, kind of skimmed over them, read the, um, you know, the summaries and everything like that um, that are at the beginning about the findings. But I'm just really encouraged. It's like from a scientific level, an anecdotal level, a personal level, I'm seeing and learning all about great benefits with this honey. Uh, black cat trigger warning if anyone's afraid of black cats sorry <laughs> all right y'all so i will be back with more updates right now i think i'm gonna give myself just a week off with using the droppers in my eye but i'm going to continue ingesting the honey and using it externally and that's just for my own personal reasons my own personal discretion like basically i have found that people who use it as an eyedropper on a continuous basis it seems like they are dealing with more severe uh, visual condi conditions than what I am dealing with. So I'm just going to give myself a little break um, for a week and then resume using it in my eyes. But in the meantime, I'm going to use it, continue using it for like scars, wound healing internally in my hoo-ha. And I will get back to you guys and let you know how all of that goes. Also, if you are interested, I just recorded my 60 day check in for my rebounding video series. So if you're interested in an alternative, very effective workout, check that out. I will be back soon. I got to run y'all. Peace. Mwah.